Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creation Channel. This is section or part 15, I believe, in the Star Gordon Bennett build, uh, a 1905 um, racing car. Um, in previous chapters, we've been working on the chassis, and I know it's a bit long and drawn out. I'm, I'm attempting to uh, create shorter videos so that you don't get too bored. Um, anyway, so this part, and also um, after this part of the chassis, there's still going to be more parts of the chassis. So what I'm going to do is mix it up a bit and do some body work. Um, so every other episode until it's complete will be a chassis. Anyway, let's get started. So what I pulled up a couple of images here. Um, So we've created this down to here. Now what I'd like to do is to create the, um, what normally happens here is that the springs, these are the springs, which is used for suspension, basic form of suspension in, back in the day. Um, and this was the leaf spring uh, connector, which is welded to this plate. Okay. Um, so what I want to do is to create this um, and as you can see the image here it's basically a cylinder which is is welded to to the chassis which holds the springs as you can see going under there um, I'll do it as accurate as I can um, another image that's viewing it from the side so it it sticks out a little bit, there's sort of a weld there and a weld here which is ground off and painted to make it look pretty. So that's what we'll be trying to achieve in this part. So it depends how far I get as to what else we do. Anyway, so inside view and please feel free to do screen grabs. Um, as and when you need. So we'll ro rotate this. I don't think we're going to need the um, we're going to need the images, image planes for this. So what I'm going to do is grab. So press Alt and collect, get that ledge uh, edge loop. So what we do now is Shift and D. And press it. And we'll just move it out. Um, so I don't know if GG works with this. So GG and C. No, it doesn't. Right. Okay. So basically, from the front here, we're just going to move this out slightly, very slightly. Um, to give that joined look. Um, okay, right, so now we need, um, to attach to that we need a cylinder, so I'll go into the side view, so press 3 on the numpad, go into side view, um, now depends where the axis is, I'll press shift and S, um, cursor to selected, okay so there, so that puts the cursor there, um, then press shift and A and add in a mesh and do it from because we do it from edit if you did it from object mode it would create a new object well we don't want a new object we want it part of the chassis so we'll we'll enter it via from edit mode okay so shift and add a cylinder and we got a big cylinder here um, so what we need to do is straight away go into here. So a little click down box here. And we only want 12. There is there. I'm just going to shorten it a little bit. 0.1 and 0.2. Just so we don't have to um, scale it too much. So here we are. 
this is our cylinder now we've got a um, for simplicity I'm going to get rid of that face and I'm also going to get rid of that face so go in face select mode there press X and delete the faces okay so go back into edit mode go into hover hover over any of the vertices on this part and press L okay go into left side view so keep our three press well actually no we'll leave it there we'll leave it there for a bit and we'll scale it in so scale it all the way in zoom up a bit and basically we want that that vertice there and that vertice there so scale it in again until we're roughly on it excellent now move it out so press L again I lost it there press L and move it out and I suggest you want it around there so now we want to scale it in the X so SX and we want it oh it's gone a bit too far there so scale in scale in actually before I do anything else I'm gonna disable the subdivision surface that'll help matters so go for a front view so press keypad one then we'll scale in scale on the X so SX and move it into position is that in is that too much so if we go to our reference images and have a look at this we'll have a look at that even rotate this I think it needs to be just a wee bit more SX so put it out go to one so right let's make sure it's perfectly let's get it level with this all I'm doing here is making sure that we are actually in the center so if I move that across scale it up a bit more that's better okay right so scale on the X and bring it out to about here I think I missed the scaling up there. Yeah, I did. Right, let's go back a few steps. So, Control Z, a few back. So, scale it up to about there. to move it out so if we look at it from the side view so that's coming down that needs to come down to there and scale up again Uh, 
move it out. It's all of, this is all about placement now. Um, okay. So, so this now we don't want. So press tab. Go into wireframe mode. <coughs> um, we want to grab these and press GG. That takes it to about there. I didn't grab them all, did I? Right. Control Z, get him back there. Let's make sure I've got everything. B. G. 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 For some reason it's not taking them all there. Um, why? Instead of using GG, let's just use this. Bring it out to here. Bring it up to here. Bring it out to here. Bring it up to there. Okay, so we've got room for a, um, a wall now. Because there's going to be a bolt running through this. Okay, so L on this. So click out, make sure you're not clicked and press L, hover over that, go into front view, let's have a look at this. Right, so now we scale it in again, so let's get rid of this, move this across. So SX, and move it, again it's not in the centre now, right. Let's scale it in a bit more. So SX, that's where I went wrong. Move it across. Just a wee bit more. SX. I grab a bit more. Okay, let's have a look at that. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, now we need to um, mold it in. So go to the front view. Um, I'm going to put a loop cut, put a loop cut here, I'm going to put a loop cut here, then there, and because we've got subsurf on it, I'm going to put a loop cut fairly close to the edge here, and one here. So let's have a look. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, now to complete the tube, so press L. Um, now we don't need the other piece of the chassis, so what I'm gonna do is press Control and I and hide the rest of that. So go into side view, grab it all by pressing A then press E and S. Let's scale it in to about there. Right. So go to one and SX. Bring it, bring it back all the way to there. And what I'll do is simply click on. All we want is these in line. So what I'll do here, 
I'll do it both ends. Let's go B. Range select the whole lot. Make sure that active element is on. So up here, go to active element, which is down there. Okay, okay. now we'll make one of the vertices active element and it will be this one, which is the last one. Then press SX0 and enter. And that makes sure that all your vertices are, if you look inside the all level on the edge there. Um, this one, so B, click here. This looks all right actually. There's a few not quite in line. So SX zero, that brings them all in line. Um, let's put the subsurf back on, see what we need to do. So Z solidify. And then bring press Alt and H. So there you go. There's so there's the end bit to the chassis. Which is Not dissimilar to this, albeit I think this needs to come down. Ooh. Control Z if you make a mistake. Press over, over over here and press L. And then move, move it down. So what we want is we need to connect these to here roughly. So what I might do is bring it in, bring it out, bring it in again, bring it out, bring it in, and bring it out. So obviously now that looks um, too big. So we're going to scale the whole lot in. So S, scale it in. Go into wireframe mode. Bring this up. Bring it across. Bring it down. And then scale it in again. Sure, if that's too much or not. That looks okay. Right, so what we need to do is. Ah. Press an X. Okay, press three. Bring that up. And let's have a look. So press Z. Solid. It's gone up into there, that's about right. So if we look at it from here, let's rotate it, bring it down, let's have a look. 
so that is now a bit wide so S and X bring it in bring it in that looks better Okay, there we are. So let's just look at it in rendered view. Doesn't look too bad at all. So I'm just thinking. So it's there. I might um, expand it a little bit more and bring it out. Um, but essentially, that looks um, that doesn't look too bad to me. Um, we'll cut these back in another episode. So I'm simply just putting a putting a loop cut in and just pulling the vertices back into that this part. Um, but yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Um, I will have a quick look at it in just click on there if you've got your material set up. Doesn't look too bad. I think that needs just to be a wee bit bigger. Yeah, it's too small. Um, so what I'm going to do is to go back into edit mode, scale it up. better so scale it in the X so SX now it's just a matter of playing around with it until you're happy um, and that looks a lot better okay thanks for watching see you in the next episode bye